Hey guys, welcome to Toad Gaming. We just got some exciting news about the new Scarlet and Violet DLC, so I wanted to make a quick video just discussing the designs, so let's jump right into it. Up first we have Monkey Dory, which I think is definitely on the lower end of these new Pokemon. The design looks very basic with nothing really grabbing my attention. It's just basically an oval shaped monkey. I think there are much better monkey design Pokemon and just designs overall in this DLC. Up next we have Pheasant Dippity, which I think is definitely an upgrade from the last. This Pokemon has a very nice royal looking design with many colors that play very well off each other. My favorite part definitely has to be the little tassels and spikes coming off of its head. Next is Oki Doggy, and I definitely agree with what a lot of people are saying, which is this Pokemon looks like Incineroar. Which I don't think is a bad thing because there are some clear differences, but still a lot of similarities. Overall though, I like the design, his fur looks like a little jacket on him, and I enjoy the weird chain he has coming off of his neck. Next is Ogre Pond, which I really like. I enjoy the ancient tribal mask. The design definitely gives me some Crash Bandicoot vibes, which I am okay with. I like the green and black design on him, I just really wonder if he actually has arms underneath all that. Next is Terra Pagos, and I think this design is very pretty and appealing to look at. I love the light blue primary color with what looks to be part of each type in his shell, which who knows, might be part of his backstory, but overall I think this is a very, very good design. Next is Walking Wake, which is a Paradex Suicune. I like how they took the four-legged Pokemon and brought it up on its two legs in a more tyrannosaurus rest looking, but still managed to keep parts of its original design. I really enjoy the new design of his tails and his webbed feet. I feel overall this is a very complete design. Last but not least is the Iron Leaves, which is the Paradox form of Rizion. I feel like this follows the safe design of the future Paradox Pokemon being metallic, but I think this one looks really good. I enjoy the green sparkly paint color scheme. This Pokemon looks like it's about to just take off and cause some damage. Alright, and that wraps everything up. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know what you guys think down below, and I look forward to more information about this CLC. If you enjoy this content, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, as it really helps out the channel. And have a great day.